Yo, what's up? This is the professor. I'm making a video review ab about this movie. Reminds me of my parents, my fat Greek wedding. It's kind of interesting. They were married, but then the priest did not sign the marriage license. So, what happened? Means they are married, so they have to get married again. Always, the priest never signed the wedding license. A few surprises. We're not married. I'm a hippie. <laughs> Adam and Eve didn't have papers, you know, but this is a funny thing. The priest didn't sign, so they have to redo the wedding. So the priest was drunk. He drank some vodka. <laughs> he missed to sign it. But weddings bring people together and it's a celebration. So, but my parents got married with no papers because in their time, there were actually no papers. People could not sign. If papers meant nothing, there could be war and then boom, everything is destroyed. So people get married with papers, no papers, as long as the two families agree. You know, to hell with the government. The government, the government is dysfunctional. So you have freedom. People can choose papers. This is not strict. So in the Western world, it's more of it has to be in a paper. But in the Bible, everywhere is like paper. This, that is all mixed up. So it works. Paper works for some people. Without paper, works for some people in Africa. You know. So boyfriend and girlfriend is just between two boys and girls, not family. So it's just interesting that different cultures and they want to instill. They want to instill the same values to her daughter, but the daughter is rebelling. I just came, like, when I came to the Western world, you know, the children are a bit, it's a bit strict and rigid. But, you know, people like us just come around, freedom, cars, this, no kids, you know, <laughs> just driving around, <laughs> flashing, <laughs> no rules, you know. <laughs> My parents have a lot of rooms. They don't want me to live and rent elsewhere because there's plenty of rooms, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're like, you can bring a girl home, your sister cannot, but you can bring your girlfriend home, it's no problem, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> as long as we want to know her. So, it's... But for girls, it's more harder, you know, like the parents are more hard. They are like, protect the Polaki. We come from a long line of strong women. Remember Paris, protect the Polaki. Eyes open, knees shut. If your knees are open, shut your eyes. Anything that's funny, I talk about it. So I have the same strict, you know, like my parents want me to stay with them. There's plenty of rooms, empty, four rooms, empty. So I like stay at home. I want to move out, but then they start crying when I move out, and then they're like, move back. Like this girl in here, she's like, want to go to university, and the mom is like, don't go away. Mark, these are the colleges I'm applying to. Why do you want to leave me? <coughs> Payback. Do all the girls close your legs and keep studying, you know? <laughs> but it's kind of funny because in Africa, people want the same tribe. Now this one's about countries. They want someone from the same country, you know, like, has to be Greek. My parents want me from the same tribe, not Africa. Like, I'm like, no, man. All the world doesn't matter. I mean, if she's from Afghanistan, <laughs> she's from Europe, Africa, as long as we get along, that's just freedom because I'm a bit mixed up Ethiopian and Sudanese. This family's always in my business. Keep your eyeballs open for a nice Greek boy so one day you can make babies. Even here in Australia, young people will get along and all people are like, especially the old women, like they're very strict, you know, like <laughs> some girls just move out to have the freedom. Um, check out the thriller, I'm out. Subscribe, write and comment, add me on Facebook.